Hey guys, Ken Perry with The Knowledge Cube. I brought Dave Savage with me from Mortgage Coach and uh, what I want to do is just spend some time. We've kind of come off of the QM time and we're still dealing with it, but the dates passed, the stresses, the fear of what's going to happen is starting to play out. We're starting to learn what we do. Uh, Elo Comp, we're starting to you know see what we're doing. We're starting to be able to kind of get back on our feet. Um, so much has happened uh, and my concern for a lot of companies is they're uh, overwhelmed with everything that happened and they think we're done or they think oh whew, we passed that uh, there's still a lot to be taken care of and the more I write as far as compliance videos as far as compliance classes the more I write uh, and the more I research the more I realize there's something that we're still missing and that is this piece on how you quote uh, how the, the conversation goes with the consumer. Uh, I was just reading actually Washington Law the other day. Washington Law, every single thing you say is, uh, especially if it's in writing or if it's done by email or whatever, is auditable by Washington. Uh, every time you say interest rate, it's gotta have APR with it. There's so much mm -hmm. that is unmanaged right now. And as we start looking at, okay, what should we be doing in 2014, that pre-GFE conversation, I think is one of the biggest risks that people are taking right now. Um, and it's, it's hard uh, in the industry just to kind of manage it because it's being done by phone, it's being done by email, it's being done everywhere. Knowing that states and federal government can audit your email, it's time that we actually take care of that. And so you have a couple options. You've got one where you review every single person's email ever and good luck uh, managing that. Um, or the other option, wrap it up. Put it in a place that actually can, it can be audited and in addition, every time they quote rate, not only can you see it, but it's done in a way that it actually grows the loan officer's business. So that's why I brought Dave in. Uh, kind of a long intro for you. No, it's but I'm, just, I'm, I'm scared for the industry right now in managing that piece. So Dave, uh, talk about what you guys are doing and what um, a mortgage coach usually like the advantage of, of compliance-wise, but also sales-wise, what they're getting. Well, I mean, we, we built this company for over a decade now on a couple core principles, and that is helping loan officers deliver better advice. That's always been something that we've been passionate about. We feel as though it's the ultimate value proposition, my advice matters. Mm -hmm. And providing mortgage options, not just rate quotes, you get this payment, this quote, in, a, in an informal, unprofessional way. Mm -hmm. Which, let's face it, that is how most home buyers make mortgage decisions. And we just think there's a better way. Give mm -hmm. them simple options, help them understand their, the long-term benefits and risk of different options, mm -hmm. so that they make a personally sustainable and an informed decision. So I mean, that's those are the cornerstones of Mortgage Coach for you know, 15, 16 years now. Well, in compliance, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, when you see what the CFPB is asking, mm -hmm. when you read the no before you own documents, you see our future GFE, they want long-term options, mm -hmm. they want informed home buyers, Mortgage Coach makes lots of sense. Mm -hmm. And they want that to be delivered in a formal way. And to your point, most states, everybody wants when rates quoted, APRs quoted, mm -hmm. license, you know. So we, you, as an industry, we need to formalize this. At Mortgage Coach, we've been doing this in a way that not only is compliant, but it improves sales execution so that you get more referrals and you win more business. So, so I mean, it really, it's, it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. You know, mortgage options and delivered in a way that it can be controlled and audit it, you know, because I, I mean, unless I'm reading something different, when you read what the CFPB wants, is they want to make sure you have a good responsible policy mm -hmm. and you have a method and a means of auditing and monitoring that policy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we could get into the weeds, but, and there, there's a lot more to the compliance conversation mm -hmm. than this, but we, it's, it really comes down to that. Consistent, uh, compliant rate quotes that are monitored and managed on the back end. And, and that's something that we've, we built our platform to do that. We've got you know a lot of big banks, a lot of lenders that are that are not just implementing that, but they're requiring their loan officers to do it. So I mean, it's pretty much that simple. Yeah, it's funny that uh, it's just it's it, we've come so far in mm -hmm. the last couple of years, just in our in our ability to comply and the, the things that we're doing, um, and we still have so far to go. And it's fun seeing. Uh, and by the way, fun for me. You're about to find out what fun for me is. <laughs> it's fun seeing technology. Uh, come to a point where it gives us a better compliant, you know, rate quote, gives us a better compliant process. It's fun watching people uh, answer the question of how am I going to be compliant? Right. And, and how am I going to manage this? So uh, thanks for, for rolling that out. And well, go ahead. No, no, I, I was going to say, I mean, I personally, while they're in the compliance world, and I know there's a lot of stuff on the back end that is, it, it is 
difficult to implement and execute. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about on the front end, it's, it really comes down to just great customer experience mm -hmm. and great customer service. So when you really think of, you know, what does a home buyer want? I know there's a lot of dialogue around low income people. They just want simple detailed information. High income folks, they want options. Everybody wants options mm -hmm. in a simple way. Mm -hmm. so, so I just think it really comes down to basic customer service. Mm -hmm. And you can be compliant by just elevating your customer service, improving your sales execution, and improve your compliance all at the same time. If I can add on that too, uh, if you're using Edge and you're only using it on some of your clients, uh, you just brought up that, you know, what if you're only using it on your high income clients and not your low income clients? Fair lending issues I see all over the place. Yeah. Um, it should be for every one of your clients. Because uh, you don't want the CFPB saying, why did you provide so much great information to this person and you left this person, you just chose for them. Totally. Uh, and so having that consistency across the board, not just as a loan officer using it 100% of the time, uh, but as a company, you know, if I go to a loan officer at the company and they, they just tell me my rate, and you know somebody else goes to a loan officer at the company and they give them this experience, uh, you really don't, you don't want that, that, that varying nature of the rate quote. And it should be done by everybody at the company. I mean, there's just, it's not scary to just put it into policy and then make sure that it's happening. Well, and, and by the way, the reality of what's happening in the industry today is that the, the engineer, rate shopper client mm -hmm is getting a different experience. Mm -hmm. Loan officers have homegrown Excel spreadsheets. They're taking time to write well-formatted emails for the call to savvy mortgage shopper. Mm -hmm. And then the person who just calls them up, they're just rate hacking. You mm -hmm. know, they're like, you want this rate or this rate? So, so this concept of inconsistent experience and whether it's high end versus low end, it's just, it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. and, and I think when you look at the emails that are going out, you look at the homemade spreadsheets that your loan officers are using because you aren't bringing a company solution to bear. You're not doing this in a quality, organizational way. Mm -hmm. um, it's, 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 it's a bit of a mess, and to your point, Ken, this is the year we've got we've to solve that, and we're here to help you do it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming. Always appreciate having you on video. You guys have a great day. Hopefully it's helped you uh, think through the way that you sell things and the way that you provide information to the consumer consistently. Thank you.